Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to convert any object you can hold in your hand into a multi-layer Lego build plan using the Iscan for Lego. It's fairly simple, you place the object on the Iscan turntable and take a 60 second scan video. I speed this up a little bit here and once you're done you stop the recording you take your phone and you upload the scan video to the MyScan platform. There you can give it a name, you can select a scan quality, draft is good enough for doing your Lego plan and give it a description, then you upload it to the platform. The platform then processes the video file you just upload and after about like three minutes, it will deliver it to your scan dashboard where you can view the 3D scan that you just made and the model that it created and then legalize it. You can select a brick set, either a full or a selection uh, or a subselection of brick sets and give it a width and a height. Then you kick it off and that process will probably take about 10 to 15 minutes depending on how big your job is and you get an email showing you a preview of the model as it has been generated by the Legolizer and you can go straight to the plan that shows you all the bricks that the plan is using including the quantities and a layer by layer plan how to build a Lego model of the object that you initially scanned. Um, in case that your object has some overhangs, it also creates what we call plate layers, uh, which are interlocked plates that will support your bricks without gravity pulling them to the ground. In addition to the layer by layer build plan, you can also export the digital model into an LXF file, which is readable by uh, the majority of LEGO tools. So here we import it into Studio IO, which is a product delivered by Bricklink, which is a LEGO company. And as you can see, the model has been successfully imported into Studio IO. And uh, there you can ungroup the model to make it available for changes. So you can change bricks, you can remove bricks, you can add bricks, you can also change the color of bricks or do all the fancy magic that Studio IO can do. And then you can render a fantastic video of the LEGO model that you have just created and enjoy your work. Well, thanks a lot for watching. You have a great day and see you later.